Hi, this is RU Kristen, and today I'm going to be showing you my December Daily 2017 setup. I'm going to be making a 4x6 six ring binder album. Um, these are the chipboard covers that I'm using. I've already punched the holes here. Um, and I will be putting my album together. Uh, these are some 4x6 index cards, um, about 30 index cards, and I've pre punched the holes. So these are the cards that are going to go in the middle. Um, I've already pre-punched some cards that I know I want to go in my album. So this is a watercolor card. These are two envelopes that are also going to go into my book. I am not making pages ahead of time, and I'm not going to worry so much about an everyday story or an everyday photo. I'm going to use this opportunity to uh, play with my art and open up to a page each day and really spend some time working with a new technique or working with some different uh, paper and just using uh, art and using my craft to tell my story instead of waiting for a story to come to me. So I'm going to take my inside pages, put them in between my cover, and then I have these clear acrylic covers that are going to go on the front and the back. And so the way you want to put these mini albums together is the hinges here, open up these binder rings, these hinges should go in between the second to last page and the last page. So let's thread these binder rings through. The second binder ring. I've been participating in Allie Edwards' December Daily album making since I was in college, so at least 10 years now. And it is a very fun project, and no, I do not get a single story down every single day, but I do have a project that I wind up absolutely loving every year, um, except last year. Last year I did not complete my project, because last year's December sucked for a whole bunch of reasons, and I gave myself permission to just put all of my December photos and my December memories and all of those things in a box and just be like, okay, I'm, I'm good with that. This can go, and I shouldn't be closing these just yet because we're going to want to put uh, our last page on there too. So put this last clear page on. And I like using these acrylic pages for um, mini albums that are going to be handled a bunch. If you're not going to, if you're not going to touch them ever again, then it doesn't matter if they have protective covers because no one's going to touch them, you're not going to get anything like on them, but since this is a daily project that I'm going to be opening and closing this a bunch, throwing it in my bag and taking it with me in places, um, I really do like putting the clear pages on the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead and close all of these ring albums, ring, what are they, binder rings, and now I have the base of my album ready to go. Um, and so my plan is to take some pages each day. I'll flip my book open like this. And you know, here I will put uh, my cover December Daily. And um, there are some also some really fun projects if you are not into the daily theme or if you want to incorporate some other uh, challenges into your December project. There's Chamel Lane's Journal Your Christmas, and the awesome thing about Journal Your Christmas is you buy it once and she'll send you the prompts every single year. So I've been participating in that one for a really long time, and uh, December's 30 Days of Lists, which is an absolute must for me, especially with a project like this where I'm not necessarily going to be doing a, a photo and a, an everyday story. If I want to just jot down a list one day, it's going to be absolutely perfect for my book. Um, so like I'm going to open up and have, uh, you know, I'll do a spread, maybe it'll be a double page spread, maybe it'll be a single page spread, but I want it to be a very interactive mini album, and I'll have little quotes, what I'm thinking about, um, and so I have, let me put this off to the side here so I can show you the supplies that I'm going to be working with. I'll close this up. So that's how you make a binder ring, and the reason I'm using six rings instead of like two or three is that, uh, when you use more rings, you have a lot more flexibility with the smaller things that you can put in here. So like I can stick this little envelope here and have three holes and stick 
all sorts of tiny little things and they'll definitely stay in there they'll it'll be super secure and it just gives you a lot more sturdiness to your album and so i plan on putting a ton of things that's why i made you know these big rings for this tiny little album um i plan on filling it up so i'm going to talk about the tools that i'm going to be using um little scissors tape runner tiny attacher i've got a couple of punches here this is a, a tab punch and a tag punch um, both super versatile and really great for little scraps of leftover paper, which I always have a ton of when I'm making mini albums. Get these out of the way. Um, I have this big crocodile. Um, this is the big bite, or whatever it's called. Um, grab that at a big box store with a coupon. It will last you forever. Or you can get the little um, handheld one. I have two of those, but since I'm going to be keeping this project out on my desk all month, I thought I would just keep the desk sized one over here. And so I have um, this ooh, big container of paper. I've already cut out um, a bunch of scraps. I've got some 3x4 cards. Um, I've got a bunch of scrap paper, an Ali Edwards stamp set. I went through my Christmas supplies and picked out the ones that I knew would work with this project. So I've got some cool paper that I've kept, um, some letters. Uh, this is another stamp set. Callie Perky, I think. I'm almost positive. I could be wrong. Um, just some fun things that I thought would go with this album. A lot of, a lot of glitter. I love using glitter in my holiday albums. And so just a bunch of fun things that I thought would go well. A lot of 4 by 6s um, These are different transparencies that have days of the week on them. I thought would be perfect for this album. Um, just some fun, like, unique things. And so these will all go back in my big red bin. Fun little things that I've been, like, as I've been cleaning out my stash over the last couple of weeks, I'm like, oh, I definitely want to have that for my December Daily album. This is a fun thing that I've had in my stash for a while. These are die-cut tags. This one's made out of chipboard. This one's made out of canvas and felt. And I think that these will be really fun to just, like, spend a day on and just, like, what can I do with this piece of felt? And that's my art for the day. Um, I've got a bunch of other, like, big pieces of paper that are Christmas-oriented, and then I've got over here some 4x6 cards that'll be perfect for a day, you know, I'm just feeling like I want to decorate, you know, a 4x6 card instead of, oh, there we go. Yeah, that one's super shiny and pretty. Instead of just, like, you know, I want to go out and do a whole huge art tutorial on myself and, like, spend hours, if I just want to, you know, I have like a couple of minutes, it's a busy day, and I don't have a ton of time to go into like that day's page, then I can just, you know, grab a 4x6 card and spend a couple minutes on it. And so these are a few of the embellishments that I grabbed out of my Christmas stash that I have, you know, loved and saved over the years. Um, I know I will find more, and I've got some Kelly Perky stuff on the way that I'm super excited about. Um, and a few other things, some freckled fawn stuff on the way too, so, like, this is definitely not the end of, you know, what is going to be in my album, and I'm definitely going to find some more items. I've been having so much fun making these commonplace albums that, that, that Brandy inspired me to make, um, and so I think that you'll see a lot of inspiration from that and from found items throughout the season, um, so if you have any questions about the way I am using my December Daily album, I will be sharing it on Instagram and I will be creating little videos so you can find it, hashtag AreYouKristenDecemberDaily. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit subscribe if you like these videos. Thanks so much.